hello so i hope you are enjoying your sunday um happy lord's day i know it's 30 minutes until the next day into the work week but i just have some quick updates for COVID 19 just only here in the u.s i'm going to report the numbers on a global report the actual global cases and the amount of global cases and then i'm going to get into the states so as for the rundown of the other countries you can catch that weekly monday through friday uh 10 30 or 10 45 whichever time i go live so here we are as of sunday august 2nd 2020 here are the number of cases confirmed on globally 18,000, excuse me, 18 million and 2,567. So the global number of confirmed cases of coronavirus is 18 million to 1,567. Here at home in the U.S., we have the confirmed amount of cases of 4 million 665,932. So once again, here at home um, in the U.S., we account for a fourth of those cases. We have 4,665,932. With a number of fatalities at 154,841. Yeah. Keep in mind, we are almost at 5 million and it's not even a month yet. Now I'm going to get into the states with cases. I'm not going to get into the counties with um high confirmed cases. So I'm going to, oh my gosh, my website just crashed here. So let's do this again. Um, NY Times, the New York Times has a great um, COVID map. New York Times COVID map. Their COVID map is so good. Because it has the states. But we all know California has one of the highest amount of cases here. not looking at the u.s i'm looking at the whole entire COVID map so oh. okay so i'm having technical difficulties i don't freaking understand why with this COVID map u.s COVID map So, okay, so I'm just going to look on my Google. California has 516,000 cases. As Florida has um, 487,000 cases. Um, almost, I could say, 491, almost. Texas has 452 plus 9 other million cases. And um, New York has... Okay, so let's repeat this again. California has 516,000 cases and more. Florida has about 487,000. Texas have 452, followed by New York, 421,000. New Jersey has 184, followed by um, Illinois, 184. Illinois might reach New Jersey, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm not sure. Arizona has 178,000 cases. Georgia has 178,000, so they might go past Illinois. I don't know. North Carolina has 125,000. Louisiana has 120. Ohio has 93,000. Over 93,000. South Carolina has over 91,000. So those number of cases is crazy here. Um... California is almost reaching 10,000 death state. Their death toll is at 9,397. Followed by Florida has reached 7,000. So they have 7,083. Texas have 
7,503. New York is still the highest death rate, but we are the fourth with the highest cases. And New Jersey has the second highest death with over 15,000. So pretty much so many states might go over New Jersey in terms of death toll. I won't be shocked like California. I knew California and Florida and Texas were going to surpass New York with the amount of cases because they open at a full capacity. New York has opened 50% and less. But I gave these quick updates. I'm going to get off, but I'm just going to say this. Please wear your mask. There's a lot of people that I saw when I went uptown and got my hair done. They wasn't wearing no mask at all. I was in the cab and going home. And people at Morningside Park were cooking out. Some of them didn't have no mask on. Like, are you kidding me? Like, you have to wear your mask. Wearing your mask is important. When you don't wear your mask, that's when COVID goes out of control. So, to all of you folks, please, please, please wear your mask. Keep your distance and wash your hands. Until then, I'll be back with my regular live tomorrow at 10 30 or 10 45 when i make the flyer and make the announcement so stay tuned and you can also catch this on youtube have a good night